Hi and thanks for tuning in. We're going to be looking at bringing in library components to a project and applying machining at the same time. So what we're going to do to get going, we're going to start off by drawing a, a volume. So we'll just do our sketch down here. Would I dimension that? I want to extrude that up, say 800 mil, and we'll make that transparent. And we'll go seven, bang, right up. So what I want to do is bring in to the scene now a carcass, standard floor carcass, and we'll just pick the front of that, and we'll go OK and OK automatic. OK, now we want to bring in also uh, another component. So we'll bring in parts. I want to put some divisions in this. So I've got this um, in my library uh, divider. So we'll pick an inside face there. It looks at the extremities of that inside volume. And we go OK. And how many do we want? We want two. We go OK and automatic. Another component, we're going to bring in some shelves, some fixed shelves. So looking for the driver block again, we can just pick down there and multiple inclusions. So we can pick along here. So we go OK, automatic thickness. And if we want two, just type two in and we go automatic. So we've got two shelves in each bay. But in the middle bay, I only want one shelf so we can go number of shelves in the middle bay, I will just go one and enter. There we go, we've got the one. Okay, so also want to bring in um, little file dividers that would be used in an office maybe, narrow dividers, and we'll just pick that bay there and say that bay there. We go okay. Now it asks us some default questions that we've set this up. How thick do you want them? Five mil, yep. How many? Just say we want six, okay. And we've got a radius setback and a radius, which you'll see in a moment what that's all about. So there's the radius and the radius setback gives that little notch in the front. Um, so what I want to show you also, when I, when I press automatic, the machining has been carried out to the component above and below those divisions with a predetermined clearance gap on either side and above and below. So that's coming through with the library component that you've set up prior to this. Okay, so we've got divisions vertical there and there. Let's put some horizontal divisions in. Now to do this, we, we can use the same library component. We just need to um, let's change the coordinate system and then we just bring in the same library component again select that and I'll say I want some there and some here and we'll go OK now ask me the same questions 5 mil OK yep and we want say we want 5 here OK and the curves and then there we go so now we've got horizontal divisions using exactly the same library component so another way of you don't have to clog up your your um, files with heaps and heaps of library components. You can have a lot of functionality in the single component. Now, if I want to alter, for instance, these here, let's have a look at parameters we can alter. We can alter the the thickness. So if we went to nine mil, for instance, for them. So now they're actually all nine mil thick. What else can we alter? We can alter how many? Just say we want three. Enter. Three. Um, I don't want to have that notch in the front, so no machining. Yes. So now we've got their straight and they'll just have an edge running right through. So different situation. And we can alter, if I want to alter these guys here and a parameter, I want to alter the radius setback to be 40 and you'll see them updated and I want to alter the actual radius to be 60 there so now that curve and that curve are different 
that that's how I wanted it so my system caters for that now also I wanted to show you um, I just want to turn that on if I want to I just wanted to show you associativity because if I now want to alter the length of this cabinet and we'll go to a meter everything upgrades and updates according to that new measurement so these bays have been widened so these um, divisions have been stretched these gaps between all these divisions have been recalculated as have these so everything's associated within top solid so um, that's the beauty of about updating drawings so if you had a change on site a measurement has changed just a matter of updating the the measurements and all your parts update in the same order okay we're happy with this let's put this now through to NREOUT so we'll pick main assembly and we'll select these by panels and we go OK so you can see it processing down here now four files have been exported now if I open NROUT and this is in real time by the way folks so we've opened up NROUT 16 mil boards here uh, we'll clear this we'll add a file this is the 16 mil and we go OK and process So there's, there's our um, boards coming through, all with the trenching all being carried out. Within NROUTE, you don't have to assign tooling by the job. That was all done and carried out in the strategies, which are set up. So you simply draw your model in top solid, drop it into NROUTE. NROUTE does all the hard work for you. So that's all those parts have been done all the parts with the most machining become your primary face so that's the face that will be facing upwards on your nest and um, we also produced secondary um, machining for secondary face um, boards if that's required so that's our, our 16 mil being nested let's now open up our 5 mil boards and we'll get We'll give the 5 mil boards a different sheet size. So we'll make them into a smaller sheet. And 5 mil top solid wood. Clear them out. Add a file, 5 mil. Open process. And here we go. So they're done. So your 5 mil are done. And you can see the curve and setback that are altered from the original as it came in that that exact detail has been picked up by top solid wood and sent through to NROUTE and now the machining has been assigned exactly for that so that gives you a, a an idea from start to finish of a simple project using a smart library item um, I hope that this has been another demonstration to you of an example of top solid wood working smarter. For more information, please visit our website. Thank you.